Uh, race handle end of term three, computer studies form one exam. So this is the question and answer. So state the components of a computer system which performs each of the following tasks. Each is one mark. So we have comparison of numbers. Now comparison of numbers, we use the arithmetic and logic unit or the ARU uh, part of the CPU. Part B, we have convert data into a computer format. So which component of the computer system does conversion of data in one format to the other? That one is the input unit. Then we have which component of the computer system coordinate operation of an entire computer? Definitely the answer is straightforward. It is the, the control unit. Question number two. Explain the term system files as used in operating system. When you talk about files, we usually have the system file and the application files. Now the system files are the files that are important for the operation of the computer. The operating system may not really uh, operate minus these uh, crucial or critical important files. So they are the files con that contain important information that make the operating system to work. These three common disk management operations or tasks performed by the operating system, we have three marks. So we have disk defragmentation. This is bringing together scattered files to uh, make the space sufficient for other files. We have disk partitioning. This is dividing a disk into more than one portion for the purpose of uh, backup and for the purpose of installing more than one operating system. Disk cleanup, on the other hand, is eliminating or erasing files that are not in use just to free the space or the disk space or storage space. Disk scanning. Scanning is evaluating. It is looking for errors. It is checking for errors and solving them. That is disk scanning. Disk compression, on the other hand, is just to minimize or to save on space. So this is bringing also files together to make space sufficient. Peter created folder named English, Maths, and Kiswahili in, uh, in a folder named Computer Studies. In the folder English, he created folder Literature and Language, uh, which is uh, in, uh, where in Swahili folder he created Ruha and Fasi. Draw a directory tree structure or a file folder tree for all the folders. So guys, here we have the, the folder here. So we have this one. We have this. This is our first folder. The, the folder is called studies, where we have English. You see we have English, we have maths, we have Swahili, where in Swahili we have Ruha and Fasihi. Then when in English we have literature and language. So basically this is how you draw the the uh, directory structure tree formats. Given that the studies folder is in the root directory of drive D, write the path for a file named revision.doc as stored in the Ruha folder. So you start with the D, that is the drive, followed by the folder, followed by the subfolder, subfolder, and then the file. So basically, this is the answer that uh, you are supposed to supply. The following, the following is a list of computer output devices, speakers, proto, uh, screen projector, touch screen, LCD printer. Then we have, uh, well, yeah, we have the LCD, we here there is a comma, uh, sorry, there is a comma here, LCD, LCD, and then printer. Categorize each of uh, them either soft copy or hard copy output devices. So soft copy output devices, these are devices that produce intangible output like speakers, LCD monitor, projector, touch screen. On the other hand, our hard copy output devices, these are devices that produce a tangible output. So we have printer and plotter according to whatever the examiner has pro uh, provided. A hard disk of a computer was reported to have crashed. 
state took control measures that should have been put in place to prevent such an occurrence. That is, the occurrence here is disk crash. So, the first answer is proper shutting down of the computer, use of power surge in the computer hub, use of UPS, an interruptible power supply unit, also keep backups. Backups are copies kept somewhere else in case the original fails, you can go for them. Then control dust and uh, damp control. Remember, dust is very um, dangerous when it comes to moving parts of the disk. Explain two consequences or effects of not restricting use of USB thrust drives in the computer. Now, the question is, ask, is asking, why should we, should we restrict uh, USB? And if you don't restrict, what happens? So, computer hardware and software may be damaged by the viruses. There would be a spread of viruses. Uh, students may copy uh, software and games to play in the laboratory uh, while distracting lessons. Confidential data can be copied and exposed. That is very true. Somebody may steal data. Students may use it to copy software reading to copyright infringement. Risk for in input devices used to capture data by the way of scanning. So we have image scanner. We have OMR, that is optical mark reader. We have mic, magnetic ink character reader. We have barcode, that's the one used in the supermarket, barcode reader and optical character reader that is used to mark KCP that was there. State for hardware features that may be considered when selecting a laptop computer to be used in school laboratory. Rather, when you are buying a computer, what do you consider? Now, number one is the size of the screen, which is the diagonal length of the screen, the size of the screen, the larger the screen, the larger the image. Processor speed, choose a system with a higher processor speed for easy operation. It should have memory capacity. Also check big memory capacity, like something like 16 GB, 8 GB, 4 GB. That one will make your computer faster. Secondary storage, that is the hard disk or the SSD. So also choose a computer with big uh, storage capacity. Highlight three head of the issues that may affect the user after prolonged use of computer three marks. When you use computer without breaks, you may develop eye strain, headache, back strain or backache, rim fatigue, neck strain, and tendonitis. So those are some of the problems you may develop by using or by use of computer. State three ways uh, through which computer components in the in the laboratory can be protected against theft. So number one is restricting access to the computer. So that only the runners that do computer should access computer. Use of monitoring cameras, CCTV, use of rocks, you can put big rocks, you can put grills, chuma, pomadrisha, and mirango, imposing stiff penalties to any person who may be involved in theft. Also, you can employ soldiers. Identify the appropriate computer output device suitable for each of the following tasks. Generating receipts where carbon copies are required. Here we use dot matrix or impact printers. Dot matrix uh, is capable of accepting carbon papers. An architectural drawing where precision is required. Here you use a plotter. When you are you want to draw a big map, a big billboard, you use a plotter. Then producing document output for a visually impaired person. Definitely, you use a speaker or braille. State the function of each of the following keys on the keyboard. Backspace, insert. Now, backspace, uh, it's used to uh, delete, uh, it's used to delete your work backwards. Backspace, moves the display cursor one position backwards, deletes the character at the position, and shifts back. Okay, instead of now giving those big stories, it deletes characters towards your right or from your right. Insert, it is used to switch between type over and uh, insert mode. You can just practice when you have clicked uh, in the center of a sentence, then press insert key, then try to type. You see what happens. Number 14. The figure below shows a block diagram of computer system and its peripheral devices 
to sit and answer the question, to answer the question that follows. So we have this one. Identify two devices that may be used for storing data for a long duration. So definitely here we have read-only memory that is up there and hard disk. So we have the hard disk and read-only memory. They can be used to store data for long duration. Name two peripheral devices that are used for input. So here from uh, checking on this one for input, you can see we have mouse. You can also see use a CD drive, a scanner also, as uh, such. Then give three other input devices that a computer user might wish, uh, wish to add to the setup above in order to perform his tasks uh, effectively. So you can add a keyboard, trackball, like pen or stylus. You can use a joystick, microphone, mm -hmm. and digital cameras, rather input devices. Then we have question number 15. A customer wishes to purchase a computer system. The customer can buy word processor, spreadsheet, database, and a drawing package separately or as integrated, that is together or as suit. State the three reasons why the customer would prefer an integrated, that is a suit, an integrated package to separate, uh, to separate packages. So the software provides easy movement of data among the separate applications. A common group of commands is used for all the applications in the software package. It provides easy switching between functions without having to go back to the operating system and ability to share uh, data between functions. Identify the following symbols as used in computer ports. So the first symbol is parallel. Second one is serial, USB, small computer system interface. This is for mouse, PS2 mouse. This is for keyboard. I'll try four reasons why it is important to ensure proper cabling in the computer laboratory. So it is to prevent breaking of pins on the ports and cables such as VGA to prevent general damage of ports, which might lead to malfunction, to prevent breakage of cables, which will lead to malfunction of devices, also to prevent uh, short circuits and electric shocks, and also to prevent tripping or property, uh, that is uh, on properly laid out cables, which might lead to accidents. State four, power related problems that can occur in a computer laboratory. So we can have blackouts, transits, power surge or over voltage, power surge or brownouts, short circuits. Those are some of the, uh, the power related problems you may find. Differentiate between serial and parallel cables. A parallel cable uses multiple wires and can transmit data simultaneously. On the other hand, a serial cable uses one wire to transmit data one at a time, but in a, in a, in a high speed. Name for cable other than those in 17B that are used to connect a computer with other devices. So we have VGA, we have PS2, USB cable, DVI cable, we have Ethernet, that is for the internet, we have HDMI cable, and also we have a 5mm audio cable. Then we have, for each of the foreign computer generations, state the technology and storage mechanism used. First generation, we use vacuum tubes or the mionic valves. Storage, they use magnetic drum memory. Second generation, they use transistors and they use the magnetic core memories or tapes. Third generation, integrated circuits, they used magnetic disks. Fourth generation, they used very large integrated uh, circuits or microprocessor and used optical disks and magnetic disks. Guys, you can get a copy of this paper by WhatsApping me on the number that is below the description. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to subscribe, remember to share and write my videos.